What is up guys? Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. We're almost at a thousand. So if you haven't already, whoop, hit that red button over there. Uh, become a member of the Turner Fishing Gang. Uh, we got merch down below. Got a Patreon link right there. If you want to help the channel out, any little bit helps. Helps with the tournaments, the gas, all that stuff. Living expenses, you know. Life ain't free. But in today's video, what we're going to cover is what do you look for in the perfect spawning flat? How do you find a spawning flat from like Navionics or using your depth finder to find the best pockets? Now, a little disclaimer. I'm going to show you these pockets. I'm going to show you these, what I believe, this is all personal opinion, would be the best spawning places on your lake of choice. They're easy to find, but it could be the worst spawning place. It could be the best. You just, you, you got to narrow down. You don't want to go for one pocket and be like, oh, well, Stephen and Turner on Turner Fishing told me that this would be the perfect pocket, but there's no fish spawning here. I mean, it's fishing, not catching. But anyway, guys, I'm going to roll this intro. We're going to get in this video. We're going to die right in. Remember, guys, hit that thumbs up for me. Yeah! yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Oh. So one of the biggest things that I personally believe that affect bass at the very beginning of the spawn. Now later on, once the whole lake warms up, none of this is really irrelevant and your your pockets that you normally fish are gonna have fish. But right now we're having our first 80 degree uh weather day today so the water's probably you know 55 to 60 ish and it, it's steadily rising the nighttime temperatures like put it in this perspective guys if the water is 55 and your nighttime temperature is 56 that water is rising it, the, the temperature is going up which turns on the top water bite and it's pushing this fish up. These fish are hungry. They're ready, getting ready for the spawn. But some pockets heat up faster than others. So the coldest wind that we have is from the north. So you would you would think, well, the south end of the lake, like that on Lake Murray right here, this is the south end of the lake. You got Be Beach Creek, uh, Acapulco, um, 378 bridges uh whatever this place is over here i've never fished over here it's probably a good place <laughs> but you would think well the south end of the lake would be better no the north wind all right so the north wind is going to hit up here all right all of that wind is going to go across this whole lake that north wind is the coldest wind so by the time it gets all the way down here it's going to be as cold as it could be you know, theoretically, theoretically, that wind's going to push from the top of the lake all the way down to the bottom of the lake. If it's pushing out the north, I mean, yeah, wind goes everywhere. So that's a big consideration, too. So your warmest pocket is going to be on the north side of your lakes. You know, you, you could apply this to any river chain, any lake chain, any pond or anything. The north side of your lake is going to be warmer than the south side if you have a lot of north wind. So at the beginning of the spawn and into early pre-spawn and all that, once the water starts warming up, I mainly focus. Like I'm just going to pick a random spot on the map that I've never fished and I'll go show you a spawning area that I fish almost every year. So let's just go all the way up here. I think this is like Yacht Cove or something. Let's see. No, Yacht Cove's down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go check out. Let's see. Let me find one. And I'm, I'm going to show y'all, like, why this is better than others. As soon as I find one. If you just barely looking at the map, you're going to be like, well, there's a spawning flat over there, a spawning flat over there. Yes. But the best, like, on this whole screen, the best two areas are going to be 
right here and right here so let's check this one out all right you've got a creek bed going through you've got you know a lot of secondary points leading in the back of here you've got a, a warming pocket right here this pocket right here is going to get really warm and they're going to push bait into here during the pre-spawn all right and they're probably going to spawn here but the warmest water is going to be right here in this area right here now i don't know what this section of the lake is called you got let me know down in the comments below but it's a match points drive around that area but the reason this pocket is going to be so much warmer than say this pocket right here is because this pocket is protected from the north wind with these trees these houses and all that for the most part but i mean the wind's going to come over these trees right here all right and theoretically it's going to pass most of this pocket this pocket is going to be dead slick even in 10 to 15 mile an hour winds it's going to be pretty much dead slick with occasional gust that's going to warm this pocket up it's going to be sitting in the sun it's going to warm up all right and since it's dead slick it's going to stay stained longer unless there's a creek pushing in it which i don't see when i see a pond over here but i mean there possibly could be a creek pushing it but it's still going to stay stained and stained water will always warm up faster than clear water so you've got the north wind pushing all the way up here and it's going to hit the, the wind's going to be hitting this and pushing all this water down here so this pocket right here is going to be colder than this pocket so and even this one but another thing to consider you've got you know east and west winds which pocket is more protected from all the winds like if you got a wind pushing this way this pocket right here is going to get hit and with the wind hitting it the bass are more hesitant to, to spawn because you know you got wake and all that now later on in the year they don't they're not going to care once it gets above 65 i mean it's time to spawn whether what what's going on or not but at the very early spawn when the bigger fish push up because i personally believe the bigger fish are going to spawn before all the other fish because they're ready to get it over with and get back to deep water but if you've got wind coming this way over here on hiller road it's going to be hitting this pocket right here all right and if you had north north wind the day before all that cold water that's over here is going to get pushed into this pocket right here all right but if you got north wind coming down it's not going to hit this pocket if you've got wind coming out of, out of there here it's really i mean you're going to have some water pushed back there but it's not going to be as bad all right now if you got wind going the opposite way this way I mean, that wind's not going to do anything here. That's what I'm saying. You you want an area that's protected from every amount of wind except one. Every, I mean, every pocket's going to be affected by wind eventually. I mean, there's going to be wind somewhere. But the, the main concern is a north wind. North wind's going to be colder. All right, now I'm going to make another example. I'm going to show you a pocket that I actually fish. So let's let's head over here to the river. Now, at the moment, you can't fish this. All this is mud. <laughs> All this, like, you, you can draw a line right here. You got fishable water, non-fishable water. <laughs> but this right here is my favorite pocket. It's protected from the north wind because of the trees. It's protected from the south wind. It's protected from, I want to say that's the west winds. No, that'd be, yeah, west winds. And it's even protected from the east winds. Like, just because of the secondary point right here. This water right here is going to be the warmest water that I can find in my normal little fishing area. Except maybe the little creek. You know, that's a pretty good area too. But as I'm saying, well, when you're looking on Navionics, you see like, you, you want to look, how, how many areas do, do the water come into this pocket? How many areas 
can the wind go into this pocket? Is it got trees around it? Is it protected from wind? Is it shallow enough to spawn? Is it too shallow? Does it have cover? Does it have secondary points leading into it? That That's why I love this one right here. Because this pocket right here is protected from north. This pocket is protected from north. And this, uh, this is a, a really deep point coming into uh, two or three secondary points. That's still 15 foot of water in the creek channel. I mean, these fish got plenty of time to stage. You know, every every single stage, and they could push bait in the back of these little bitty pockets right here. I mean, to me, that's an amazing area. So, now, I'm going to go to a completely different lake that I've never fished before. So, let's just pick this one. I think this is uh, Lake Hartwell. Yep. I've never fished Lake Hartwell. So, I'm just going to randomly... Pick a side of it. I mean, I'm guessing this is still like Hartwell. Yeah, Oconee. I mean, I go trout fishing up there. All right, so it's the same thing. This little spot right here, just at the north end of your lake, if it has trees that can protect that pocket. I mean, this place right here looks amazing as a spawning area. You got ledges right here. I mean, these are deep ledges. You got, you know, a pocket right here. They could push bait during the pre-spawn. Another one right here, a secondary point to sit on. Another pocket, another secondary point into a pocket. And then you just keep going down this channel. And, I mean, you've got really good ledges on, shallow ledges on the left side going in. And they come in here and spawn. And then they come back out. Secondary pocket, secondary pocket, main point, deep water. But... That's the gist of it, guys. If you want to find the perfect spawning place on a map that you can go out in your boat and check out, I would start on the north side of the lake, find a pocket that doesn't get hit by wind in every direction, and just run that pattern. And if that can't put you on fish, then you need to back off, go check the secondary points before that pocket, and check it out. But anyway, guys, this has been Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. Remember, check out the merch below. I love in my new shirts. And if you have any more questions about the spawn or any other videos that you would like me to make, let me know down in the comments below. And remember to hit that thumbs up for me. It means a lot. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, hit that little red button over there. And I'll catch you in the next one. 